Good evening and welcome to Poland Daily. I'm Nicholas Richardson and this is the news. Protests are continuing throughout Poland against the decision of the Constitutional Tribunal, which greatly restricts abortion. Left-wing activists have vandalized several churches and said that they are not going to stop their pro-abortion demonstrations. Meanwhile, the conservative Ordo Juris Institute has announced that they will help the faithful in their efforts to protect unborn children. Protests against the ruling of the Constitutional Tribunal, which declared that eugenic abortion is unconstitutional, are still continuing. Yesterday, activists announced that the protests are going to spread the churches. <laughs> Have you heard the words of Mr. Gondetsky? Have you seen how happy he was that there will be a ban on abortion? Let's spoil their day. They're happy too soon. Take your money, go to the church and leave the money. You don't want to go inside? Hang the poster outside. You want, can write, say something, do something else, do it. And the most important thing, take a picture, write a post, share it with us and with the world. Hashtag preaching God's word on Sunday. The women's strike, however, announced Sunday sabotage actions. The game plan, Saturday and Sunday, sabotage actions. Sunday, obligatory mass. Tell those who are cassocks what you think. Monday, blockades. Tuesday, sabotage. Wednesday, protest. Don't go to work. And then all over again until they step back. You hear that terrorist from Peace Orc PL? St. Jacob's Church, located on Narutowicz Square, has been vandalized. I went outside in the morning after 7 a.m. and I saw the walls of the church were sprayed. There are many slogans on the walls by pro-abortion activists. It's really hard to understand this. This Sunday's Gospel speaks about God's love and the love for neighbors. Love is the medicine and not hatred and revenge. We can have different opinions, but we have to respect one another. This was not the only church in Warsaw touched by vandalism. The Order Juris Institute has already announced free legal assistance in connection with the violation of the law by left-wing activists. The Polish Ministry of Health has announced the latest data on the current epidemiological situation in the country. The total number of deaths has risen to 4,438, with 11,742 new infections. According to the latest data from the Polish Ministry of Health, there are 11,742 new SARS-CoV-2 infections in the country. 87 people have died of COVID-19, including 83 who have had coexisting diseases. The largest number of people who have tested positive, that is 1,850, was recorded in the Mazovian Vovoidship. The Kuyavin Pomeranian region is in second place with 1,134, and in third, the Lesser Poland Vovoidship with 1,119. The coronavirus pandemic will this year influence the way Poles celebrate All Saints Day, which takes place a week today. Cemeteries remain open for now, although both the church and the government are encouraging people to stagger their visits to the graves of their relatives either side of the traditional 1st of November. Meanwhile, the Catholic Church has announced that plenary or full indulgences, traditionally obtained during the first week of November, for the souls of the faithful in purgatory, can now be gained throughout the entire month of November. According to the decree issued by Pope Francis, a full indulgence for people visiting cemeteries and praying for the dead between November 1st and November 8th is extended to the end of the month. These days, freely chosen by individual faithful may also be separate from each other. The decision was made in response to the coronavirus epidemic. This year, due to the restrictions connected to the COVID-19, indulgence for the dead can be obtained throughout all of November, adapting the conditions in such a way that the safety of the faithful is ensured. Hence, the Polish Episcopate encourages people to stay at home on November 1st. The president of the Conference of the Polish Episcopate, Archbishop Gondetsky, appealed to people to extend their visiting graves to before and after November 1st. A possible decision to close cemeteries will be made by the administrative authorities of the sanitary inspectorate. This kind of decision is not in the power of the church. We don't want cemeteries to be closed. We appeal to the people to avoid huge gatherings. As Prime Minister Mateusz Morawiecki said, the decision regarding the restrictions and rules for cemeteries will be made someday next week. At the last press conference, the head of the Polish government said that cemeteries will remain open for now, but at the same time appealed to people to stay at home on November 1st. During yesterday's protests held in Warsaw, tens of thousands took to the streets. Protesters included women demonstrating against the anti-abortion decision of the Constitutional Tribunal and others demonstrating against the government's restrictions imposed in response to the coronavirus pandemic. 
the police arrested nearly 300 people in total. 278 people were arrested during yesterday's protests held in Warsaw. According to the spokesperson for the General Police Headquarters, over 1,100 people were asked for identification and 120 were issued with tickets. Besides the women's strike, opponents of the restrictions introduced in connection with the coronavirus epidemic also protested in the capital. During demonstrations, several men attacked TVP journalists. They used tear gas on a cameraman and a sound engineer was hit with the fist. On November 3rd, millions of Americans will go to the polls to cast their ballots for the next president of the United States. Although currently ahead in the polls, it remains to be seen whether former Vice President Joe Biden will be successful and deny President Donald Trump a second term. If I don't win this state, I'm going to come back and I'm going to be very angry at you. <laughs> Epic job growth, groundbreaking therapies, a safe vaccine that quickly ends the pandemic. By the way, with or without it, and we have it, great companies. But we're rounding the turn. Drives them crazy when I say it. We're rounding the turn. Cases, cases, always cases. They don't use the other words. I don't want to use the other words. I don't even want to talk about the other words. Because I thought Sleepy Joe was very dark when he talked about a dark winter. A dark winter. No, how dark was that? How terrible was that? They say, you sound too optimistic. They're always saying, I sound, that's right. That's right, because I love this country. That's the news. Thank you for watching. Stay with us for the weather. Poland Daily Business and more programs. But from me, it's have a good night and a better tomorrow.